Halloween tree. Hi everyone, it's Alexandra from Andy Scrapbooking, and today I'm going to be showing you a really quick and easy last minute Halloween project. So I found, I went to Michael's and I found this Creatology Halloween mini spooky tree. Now this is two dollars, and um, I thought it was really cute, like it was a foam tree and stars and bats and. I actually already used up like almost all of the stars and the moon on a scrapbook page and I use the bats on a scrapbook page too and they're really really cute to use and I love using foam accents because they're really easy and they add dimension and things like that so with the actual tree I was thinking of doing a project with it and yeah so it basically comes in two pieces and you could even make this yourself but I figured I would buy it and then um, trace it onto a piece of cardstock and next year I could use like if I wanted to make two I could use it as a stencil so if you wanted to do your own using something like a similar idea you could because all you need to do is cut a slit on the bottom of one tree and set on top of one tree and then it easily goes like that to give a really cute three-dimensional tree so today I'm going to be decorating this tree and I'm going to be making a base with little 3D ghosts and this is something really cute to put on like uh, a little table by your door so when the trick-or-treaters come around you can um, you can they could see it and they'll, be, they'll think it's really cute also I forgot to mention that it comes with this cute little like 3D um, cat I don't know it looks like this and it's like really thick foam I'm gonna I think I'm gonna incorporate that somehow but maybe get rid of the pumpkins I don't know so anyways I hope you guys all enjoy this video and here we go Okay, so it's really hard to tell on camera from the angle I was doing, but I took hot glue and I, like, dripped it down to kind of look like spider webs, if you guys could tell. And I really like how it came. I'm going to get rid of all the ugly, like, glue all over, but I think it came pretty cool. Like, a spider's been here, and I'm going to put a spider on the web and things like that. They're very delicate, though, so you can't really touch them but they kind of look like webs, so I think that's cool. So yeah, so I'm going to continue. So I just took these beads and I glued four sparkly pipe cleaners um, to them, so they're like a sparkly spider. So I'm just going to put some hot glue and glue them on and they kind of blend in really well because they have sparkly legs but when you look up close I just think it looks really cool so yeah 
So I'm just going to continue and enjoy. Okay, so while I set this aside to dry, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool trick. Um, I take Just take a piece of wax paper, and yes, this does waste a lot of hot glue, but in the end, it is really, really a good, you know, a good way to make a ghost. So all you're going to need is a hot glue gun, as I said, the wax paper and um, a tissue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this to dry and then add another layer until we form a hot glue ball. If you already have a um, like a marble that you don't want anymore you could also do this but I don't so I'm just going to be using this uh, hot glue. So enjoy! So I just folded it over and now you just have this piece of hot glue and um, you could see through it kind of. So then you're just going to apply more glue on top of where you see it through the wax paper. Like so. Okay, so after repeating the process you'll have this ball-like thing and I'm just going to hot glue it onto the kind of center of my tissue and I'm just gonna put it down with the uh, smooth end facing up and you're just gonna hot glue that down and now I'm going to make my tissue like this and it's gonna form this kind of face and I'm gonna tie it over here and you have your ghost. So it creates a nice smooth surface for your ghost face. And um, and when you tie it, it could be nice and sturdy so you could draw on it. Okay, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this quick little video, and it just shows you how you could take something that, you know, is for a kid or something, you know, really simple and cheap, and make it into something really cool. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll give you a quick 360, as usual, of pictures at the end. And thanks for scrapping with Andy Scrapbooking. Bye, have a great day. Thanks for scrapping with Andy Scrapbooking.